My name is Ingrid Proer, and I used to work with the sharks on Wall Street, but now I have a much tougher job. They call me the Baby Sleep Whisperer. My name is Lisa. I am a mom of three, and currently my youngest daughter, Lila, is six months as of yesterday and has decided not to sleep anymore. <laughs> Getting her to sleep has been a problem because she's still nursing to sleep for all naps and bedtime. Getting her to sleep right now is the most draining aspect of my life. I'm at a huge loss, so I need help. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? So catch me up a little bit about what is her sleep situation right now. She needs me to nurse her to sleep for naps and bedtime. How do I distinguish when she's truly having a real feed and not just nursing because she's tired or bored or thirsty. So the way to do that is to start logging. You wanna log all her food, how long she's nursing for at every single session. We can see what her typical feed length is compared to those that are just for soothing. They're gonna be significantly different. Okay. So let's say she nurses for 10 to 15 minutes typically. If she nurses for five minutes, we know she's not doing it because she's hungry. At six months, how often should she be nursing? It's gonna vary by child, but figure once every three to four hours. As soon as she wakes up for the day, definitely hands down, nurse her, and then give her the solids about an hour to an hour and a half later. And my rule of thumb is that you top her off before she goes to sleep. Most doctors and pediatricians in general would say she should be able to sleep through the night without a feeding. So now that we've discussed her sleep, I would love for you to show me her sleep environment. Okay. So this is Lila's nursery. There's nothing major to change in here, yeah. which is wonderful. And now we can focus on the sleep. I'm gonna leave the two of you alone to go through your sleep routine and get her down because we know that Munchkin's sleepy. Something that I'd like you to keep in mind though, going forward, okay. because she does nurse to sleep, is to try to break the seal okay. when she is looks like she's starting to fall asleep on the breast and she's no longer truly eating. That will be that. like the first step okay. to kind of get her to get to sleep, sleepy but awake. Over the next few weeks, we implemented a number of tips, regulating feed length and weaning her off of breastfeeding to sleep. Hi, good morning, big news. We finally slept through the night, no night nursings. Three weeks later, Ingrid has been a miracle worker. We are so happy. I've posted about my hemorrhoids, my husband's penis, like what haven't I posted about? <laughs>